our oath and support. For more than 20 years, Samuel Nayega has been a permanent fixture in Little Jamaica, a place he has called home since the fall of 2000. September 3rd, I remember that. That can never go out of my head, even in a taxi. Nayega came to Toronto as a refugee from Kenya, but after 22 years in Canada, the 75-year-old man will be deported. And I love this country more than any other country. It's, <laughs> it's my home. Lawyer Ariel Hollander is representing Nyega. He says for 17 years, the federal government issued work permits for the senior. But after his final permit expired in 2017, Nyega lost his job as a security guard. They just don't know their rights. And that was his case. He didn't know that applying again for an agency application was an option. He didn't know that if a work permit application is denied, that he can apply again. In a five-page decision obtained by Global News, the Canadian Border Services Agency outlined the reasons for deportation and why the inland security officer wouldn't grant a deferral. The officer states the senior knew of his impending removal since 2010, writing that a risk assessment was done. I am unable to conclude that removal to Kenya at this time would expose the applicant to risk of death, extreme sanction, or inhumane treatment. He was out of status for more than 10 years. I don't know why suddenly it's so important, so urgent for them to deport to deport him. The CBSA cited privacy reasons as to why they wouldn't discuss publicly the case. Nayaga says he has spent many sleepless nights concerned about what lies ahead. It is without going to court death sentence without committing a crime. It is hoped the IRCC will review the application to stay, but that process can take up to eight months. So as it is, Nyaga will report to Pearson International Airport as arranged on January 4th in hopes of someday returning to the country that he calls home.